Right now, our content view struct has a query like this one right here. And we're using that already in our body property down here to read the number of books out and display it on the screen so you can all see it's working correctly. To bring this whole screen to life, we're gonna replace this simple text with a list showing all the books that have been added along with the rating and author in one place. Now we could just use the same star rating component we made earlier, but it's much more fun to try something else. And so we have a for this rating view, which is fine. That can be used in any kind of project very nicely. We can make a new emoji rating view that displays a rating specific to this uh, app here. What it'll do is it'll show one of five different emoji depending on the rating we've given this thing. And it's a great example of how straightforward view composition is in Swift UI. It's just easy to pull out a small part of your view in this way and put it somewhere else. And so press Command N, make a new Swift UI view. Call this thing Emoji Rating View. And then give it the following code. We'll say there is a property called Rating, which is an integer. Then down here in our body, we will switch on that rating and well, there'll be five possible cases we're working with here. So we'll do case one, two, three, four, and default. Um, in your case, I want you to pick out emoji you think match uh, all those possible emoji. So we have here uh, case one. You might say a text for case one, like a very bored sort of uh, face here, this kind of thing maybe, or sleeping. <laughs> it's down to you, like that. Uh, then, or even even worse than that, let's do a let's do a really unhappy face. Unhappy. There we go. You've wasted all my time. This kind of thing here, maybe. Oh gosh, there's some really angry emoji. Oh, <laughs> this is really wasted my time here. All right, I'll just go for a regular sort of very unhappy face, and I'll use case two to be. Uh, I was just bored, like so. So not terrible, but not interesting either. Then case three will make that sort of like a, a meh face. Is there a meh? There we go. Sort of like just generic, sort of not too happy, not too sad. Then case four, I'll do a text of, let's do a nice sort of smiling face. There we go. And then for the best of the best, let's go for like uh, an exploding. There we go. This is a really, really great book. Uh, now to make this switch exhaustive for five star ratings, I would have said that's the default rating here. Um, just to make sure our code is happy. And in case it all goes wrong, it'll show an exploding face. They'll be confused, but it shouldn't happen, right? You've got one between five as your options here. Um, make sure to add the preview code below, passing in a rating of some value. For example, uh, three is perfectly fine. We should see sort of meh face in a moment. There we go. A miniature tiny little meh face there. Um, anyway, pick your own emoji based on what you think is a one-star book and a five-star book, it's down to you. Now we can return to our content view over here and do a first pass of its UI. Again, we're replacing this line here, uh, line 19 for me, this text with a list has a for each inside going over all our books array here. Um, the for each just works out of the box. We haven't got to pass an ID to it because all Swift data model objects conform to an identifiable automatically. Uh, inside there, I have a navigation link point to the book that was tapped on. Uh, and inside there, we'll have our emoji rating view plus text for the book title and book author. So place that single line there, this text thing here, with a list like so. Let's fix the indent straight away so it looks a bit nicer. Boom. In the list will be a for each. That's intentional so we can add deleting later on. Go over all our books, give me one book coming in. Uh, and then inside there, one row is a navigation link with a value of our book. And in that link is a H stack containing our emoji rating view, the rating being our books rating in a nice large title font. I can read the darn thing in the first place. Then a V stack with alignment of leading. I'll do text, book title, font, headline, and then text, book, author, foreground style, secondary. Um, Make sure, by the way, you can keep these modifiers below. We need those, the sheet and the toolbar and that title. Otherwise, you can't add books in the future, right? Um, navigation won't quite work yet because we aren't actually catching this book destination for the navigation here. But 
Uh, we added a book earlier. Is it White Fang I pressed on? Um, which should now appear. There we go. Clearly a great book, even though it's spelt weirdly. Um, that's working very, very nicely. We'll back this later on to make it better, to make the whole narration thing work better and add deleting and so forth. But for now, let's build a detail view that works when we tap on this thing here.